What's up guys, this is Ray, and today we'll be talking about the 2020 Japanese television series Juwan Origins, uh, directed by Miyake Sho and starring a slew of characters, but they're all led by Arakawa Yoshiyoshi and Kuroshima Yuina. Now many of you guys know that I don't actually talk about Japanese television series, whether it be TV dramas or anime, but I felt like Juwan Origins was a special case, just because it's uh, it's Juwan, one of the biggest names in Japanese horror. So I feel like I have to talk about this, but in case you guys are new to Eggman Ray, I upload reviews and discussions of Japanese movies every chance that I get. So if you're new to the channel and you did the content, feel free to support the channel by checking out other videos which I've uploaded and also by subscribing. So let's talk about the story of Juwon Origin. It starts off in 1988 and I think the story takes place over the span of about nine years. And we're mainly led through the story by this paranormal investigator by the name of Orajima, who's played by Arakawa Yoshiyoshi. And at the start, he interviewed this up-and-coming actress by the name of Haraka who's played by Kuroshima and uh, he's getting from her her testimonials her experiences about you know regarding the the supernatural and these experiences have started after her, her boyfriend was house hunting for them and he visits a certain house which the the whole con what the whole story of Juan usually focuses on so if you're familiar with the basic concept of the Ju-1 movie series and you know about the house that is visited and that's cursed and, and uh, they can't get away, then you'll feel right at home with Ju-1 Origins. And before I dive into the positives and negatives of Ju-1 Origins, I gotta say, I really dig the English title, Ju-1 Origins. I mean, just from a marketing standpoint, it's way better than the Japanese title. The Japanese title is called ju on Noroi no Ye, which translates to the cursed house. It doesn't have that much impact as Juwan Origins. Because when you hear the name Juwan Origins, you know it's supposed to be an origin story of sorts. And that's, you know, that's one of the first positives I want to talk about when it comes to this TV series. So the concept of Juwan Origins, you know, from the very first episode, it says, did you know that the events of the Juwan movie series were inspired by actual true events? That's what this, like, that's the whole concept with this television show. Like, um, it plays with the idea that this is the actual story that the movie series is based on. So everything that you were horrified about in the movie, you'll find more about that here. And that's, you know, it starts off that way. And they, what I like is that it really plays with your mind in the sense that, you know, I think it, it, it probably impacts you a lot more if you're familiar with uh, Japanese history around this time, you know, from 1988 to 1997, like kind of enhancing the experiences, you know, throughout the store, you get uh, to see different, you get to see the TV, uh, different TVs play with different news clips. And these news clips are actual coverage of true events that have happened around these times. And these are pretty big events. Like you get the, the, the sarin gas attacks on the Tokyo subway by, by Aum Shinikyo, which is like a cult. And you even get, um, you even get coverage about this girl who was found gang raped and murdered, then cemented in this, uh, this oil drum. Um, yeah, these are pretty brutal and true stories. And they paint these, they scatter these throughout the entire series to kind of let you know that, hey, this is a true story. Of course, this is a work of fiction, but it really enhances the experience. And on top of that, some of the events and characters within the story, the actual story of the TV show, are inspired by true events as well. Like, you know, first of all, the character who's played by Emoto Tokyo, you only see him for like a, like one scene in like the first episode or something, and like one scene towards the end of the series. But he's also based on another, like a true character. Another event which I thought was pretty gnarly, and without diving too much into spoilers, there's this part of the story that involves a baby, uh, a pregnant woman, and a telephone. That is also inspired by a true story. But what I like about what this this show does is that it kind of remixes these true stories to fit within the context of Juwon. Another thing I liked about uh, the TV show is the scares. You know, this movie, you know, as with the, a lot of the other entries in the Juwon film series, this, uh, this TV show doesn't rely on too many jump scares. There are a few, but I feel like most of the magic happens when it comes with its uh, atmosphere, its setting, and just overall just goosebumps inducing moments. Like, you know, there is a ghost that populates most of the series. You know, it's not Kayako or Toshio. They are, they are for, unfortunately not in the show. But you get the woman in white. And you get to see her pop up every now and then. You get a few other moments where you see 
uh, other kinds of mysterious uh, pieces of imagery. And the movie does well in just make just creeping you the hell out, mixing both its imagery and its music. And towards the end of the story, you get to see a lot more of like the kind of time bending and overlapping stories that makes a, you know that's very memorable in previous entries of the movie series. You know, you get most of it towards the end of the story. You get little hints of it sprinkled throughout the beginning, but it really all comes together in the end. And I, I dug the way everything kind of concluded. And above all, I think one of the bigger positives I have to say about this TV show is that, that you know, the runtime, it's pretty short. Six episodes at about 25 minutes each. That's a three hour movie. You can knock this out in an afternoon. So as far as the negatives I have to say about Juwon Origins, it does take a little bit of time to pick up. Like the first episode is pretty slow, but I think with each consecutive episode, it does like the scares, the intensity does pick up steadily, as well as the, the the kinds of brutal imagery you'd see. Like it can get pretty brutal. Like I don't remember many of the the the, the death scenes in the previous G1 movies to be as brutal as some of the ones featured here. But anyways, um, some other negatives. Some of the characters, you know, there's a whole slew of characters. Some of the characters don't get as much. Uh, screen time get as much time in the spotlight as they probably should have like the story brings them up they kind of you know probably put them to the side a little bit they bring them back later I mean we at least have Arakawa Yoshiyoshi in each episode he's like the main the main focus of the story and there are a few like really big supporting characters but there are a, a few hand, there are a handful of characters that get introduced as if they were gonna be to that level but they aren't but overall what to have to say about Juwon Origins I really dug it. You know, for me, it kind of reset the series in a way. As far as like, you know, you know, where the series have gone, where the series has gone to up until now, it kind of reset my mode a little bit. And overall just returns the franchise to what made it memorable to begin with. So I definitely recommend it to watch it if you're a fan of Japanese horror, if you're a fan of the Juwon film series, you know, and like I said, it's pretty quick. Um, you can knock it out in a day. Anyways, yes, those are my thoughts on Juwon Origins. So what did you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all the socials. And by all means, if you really dig the content, feel free to hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, check out my Patreon page, which you can find in the description area below. And yeah, that's about it for me, guys. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you all again in the next video. Take it easy.